guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really exciting piggy map that I've been working on for the past week. And as you guys can see, this kind of, this map looks kind of familiar if you've been playing one of the other games. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys. I made a inspired Flee the Facility inspired piggy map. And this is the regular facility. Flee the Facility has a few maps, but I really wanted to start off with an easier map, which is this one. Um, it took a while and I actually built the whole layout just by memory and not really looking at like the layout of the game. Um, of course, um, with like detailing, like for example, like this room, I had to take some screenshots in game just to see what the different rooms look like. But yeah, this is my piggy map. And let me show you guys the room that I'm really excited about, like the room that I worked the hardest on, and it looks completely like the actual game. Um, Piggy actually spawns in this room, but this is the middle main room that is in the middle of the map. And I love how it turned out because literally like I had to like take screenshots and make sure that I get all these like stripes right in the room and like the details and like these pillars as well. And surprisingly, if you play that game a lot, you might know where all like the computers are in Play the Facility. If you play Flee the Facility, um, you would know that this is where one of the computers usually spawns and that's where I put the wrench. And then on the other side, um, there's also like a hammer over there too. and. Um, I really wanted to, to try something different right here and add a plank. Um, I had a stair step just like that one over there, but I really wanted to make it a little bit more complicated and put like a um, plank over there. And then over here you can find the hammer and it's exactly like, it looks exactly like the middle room. Um, there's some things that I couldn't do. Like for example, I used the thin wall to build instead of like just the block, as you can see. The, th the thin wall is just like this one. But the thing is though, like you can't color both sides like different colors, like one of these little wall blocks will be just one color. So I wasn't able to color certain things, like for example, um, in the actual facility map, um, there's like a yellow stripe right here, but I couldn't do that because I use a thin wall and I don't want there to be like a stripe on the outside. So like right here, there would be like a stripe. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what the map looks like. If we go in here, this is like the boys and girls bathroom. And then this is that one room where um, it has like that bright and shiny room. It's not bright and shiny, of course, because I don't know how to make it like that in the game or in this map. But yeah, this is kind of just what the room looks like. And then if we go over here, you guys, this is like the um, really famous death rooms, as you can see, like the blue rooms and um, I made it just like the new update where it has like the wall in the middle and stuff like that but yeah that is the blue rooms and then I added a little touch to this map I ended up adding like fire bricks right here just to make it more difficult so this is the room that has the purple key as you can see like it has like the purple lock um, some of these rooms have vents and since this is a locked room I ended up having to put like a window there instead to cover up the vent so someone can't just easily go in there without locking the door so that is something that I had to do and this is another one of the rooms I had to take a screenshot of this room so that I can kind of get the detail the colors and the walls like perfectly like in line with what's actually in the game and I actually thought of putting like the freeze tube but there's nothing like no decorations that look like that and I don't want to just place like blue blocks down anyways so I kind of just left those out. But yeah, this is kind of just like the actual game and stuff like that. And then in here is the famous server room. Now, I didn't know how to make like the glowy blocks and stuff. So I just made these blocks like these colors, like the main colors that are on that map. But yeah, this is where you would be hacking a computer. And there would be a door over there. There's a vent over here. But since this is a locked room, I had to just use a window for that. But yeah, that is the room. And then if we go over here, this is the theater room that I tried to build. Um, a little bit more space over here that I wanted to, but this is kind of what it looks like. You would be hacking a theater over here. And this is the famous like cabinet that people tend to hide in and flee the facility. So yeah, that is the map. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm really proud of how it turned out. 
it did take me a week and it took me some time this actually used to be one of my favorite maps in Flea, but now it is the airport map um so yeah i thought i would build this and this is the way you would escape so you would um go through like these ways obviously not when you're playing because you die but this is where you escape and tada you are outside of the map so yeah this is the map it's huge i would really love to like play with more people but for this video i think everybody's sleeping since i'm like filming this super late i'm filming this at like nine o'clock um pst so yeah this is for the player spawn and then if we go over here this is a little doggy um i place a lot of these bones around the map so he you can activate him like a few times more than just once i also added in some trash cans as you can see this isn't actually in flee the facility but i thought i would add a little more touch this is where piggy spawns I went back and forth between right here and in the boys bathroom I think yeah the boys bathroom um, just because I thought it was kind of close to where the player spawn is but I think it's fine this is where the little fire hydrant is to get to the um, the fire or the purple key and I tried to use I try to use different floors like floors like this color are in the actual game um, Honestly, I probably should just use the blocks as walls, but it's fine. We're just going to go with it anyways. But yeah, that is my Flee the Facility map. Also, don't mind this. Um, I couldn't connect the walls together, so that's why there is a gap right there. I, I tried to, like, cover it up. Hold on, let's see. Let's let's do, like, the no-clip thing where, like, we fly. So, for example, I had to, like, cover up this gap just like that. <laughs> Um, I probably could have done a better job, but this is kind of what I have for now. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that'll work. But oh my gosh, I am love I'm in love with this map. I'm just so shocked at how much it looks like the actual Flee the Facility map. So yeah, um, that is kind of like a little map tour. Now let's go ahead and actually play the game. Now this is going to be hard because I'm the only player in this game. Alright, so now let's go ahead and play an actual game. I'm just going to do a bot for Piggy just because obviously there's not enough players. So this is where the player spawn is and I tried to make sure that the keys were in good places that were easy to find. So for example, this is the first key that we'll need and this one takes up a few doors to open as you can see so I'm going to open this one over here and there's another door right there but we don't need that one open so I'm going to go ahead and grab the next key that we need which is the green key and this kind of reminds me of the game spider just just a little bit oh no I can't cross into that one because this was a locked room so I'm going to go over here um oh no I hear Peggy coming I thought I could do this um, a lot faster, but I guess not. Okay, so this is where the purple key is at right here. <gasps> I can hear her. <gasps> she's like right there. Oh my gosh, she's right there. And she's stuck in the door, I think. Okay, so um, I need to go through this way. Oh! So this is where I need to go, but I need to go to the boys' bathroom to pick up the fire hydrant. So we're going to go over here. And I really love how this map is kind of like designed like it's in the game flee the facility you are trying to escape a beast which I am kind of trying to escape right now um, I think the hard part about this is just being like a single player because Piggy is just gonna try to follow you wherever you go and <laughs> it's a little hard with one player but it's totally fine I need to go back over there um, let's see how many times I actually die in this game um, I don't know where she is at. I need to go back. <gasps> Wait, is that her right there? <gasps> no, don't come at me. Don't come at me. Well, she's gonna stay there for now. Um, it's not my fault that she got stuck. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go over here and unlock the purple door. And in here we have a blue key card. Okay, so I actually made like these color like color coordinated with the type of rooms that are in the game so this is the purple room the purple key um actually i should have made that room down there like the green room because it has like green stripes oh well we're just gonna go with it anyway so to use this blue key card i need to go over here in the blue room um i don't know if she's still oh shoot she's right there okay well oh 
Okay, so this is the blue room and that's how you open up the blue rooms. Next we need the orange key card, which is this one. And I'm going to go around just because the orange key card room is the bright room. So if you guys are familiar with the map, it's going to be this room right here. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Okay, so this is what the bright room looks like. It's not super bright. I probably should have edited this more, but it's fine. It's whatever. Um, so next we need to get this key. Oh no, there's another step that I forgot to do in the main room. Okay, so I need to go back to the conference room, which is over here. And let's see. Yes, I need to get the plank to get to a certain spot on the map. So we're just going to put that down right there. Oh. He scared me for a second. Okay, so we need to get the plank right here. Or maybe it's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. Okay, so it's right here. And we need to get the, what's it called again? Like the wrench or something? Yeah, we need the wrench to open up the laser gate. So I got the wrench. I need to try and remember where I put everything down. So I'm going to go over here and open this little area. Um, try not to get zapped. Okay, there we go, that works. Now we need to get the hammer, and then we need to unlock the door with the silver key. So yeah, um, I think the hammer, yeah, the hammer, no? Oh no, the hammer's on the other side. Luckily, Piggy's stuck behind a door, so this kind of makes the demonstration a little bit easier to show you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go back this way. Is it this? Yeah, it's this way. So I'm gonna go back this way, and we're going to open this door so originally i wasn't going to add the fire in the plank but i finally figured out how to add that to this map so i ended up doing so so it kind of makes this map a little bit more harder to play i guess you would say um i always get confused between the two sides like where i put everything down okay so i think i left yeah i left the key in the conference room over here where i put the plank or where i took the plank so I'm going to grab that and we are going to escape. So this room is kind of scary to escape in just because if Piggy's coming then you don't really have anywhere else to escape so that's the scary part about that. But yeah that is how you escape my flee the facility map. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to play this map one day. Maybe I will um, give you guys a date and we can try to plan it out and then I would set my joints to like Everybody so let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like to play with me one day for a video I would really like to film a video while playing with a bunch of fans, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video um, Oh, I forgot to mention I added lights in there. I don't know why um, there's actually not any Other lights in the facility just because in the regular game. There's like no lights like, it's kind of dim anyways, so I just thought I would try to keep that atmosphere. But yeah, um, let me see if I can find some of the bones or something. I think there might actually be one. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be a bone right here, and then I think there's actually one in um, the grass room, which some facility players call it, the grass room. I think, yeah, the grass room. There's a bullet. And I'm gonna see if there's okay, so there's nothing in the girls' bathroom. Um, the fire hydrants in the boys' bathroom. Um, I think it's this room right here that I was talking about right here. Yeah, it's, it has to be this room. So there's another bone right here, and then I think there might actually be either bullets or another bone in here. Oh, so there's another bone, so you can activate the doggy a few times to kill or like knock Piggy out for 20 seconds and then I also put in like a couple bullets here and there. The gun actually, I think the gun's in this room, let me check. From what I recall, the last time I put it was in here. Yeah, so the gun is right there. So as you can see, I place like everything that you need, like the events and stuff where computers would usually spawn and flee the facility. Another thing I wanted to talk about was like in this map, there are windows that you can jump through. Um, for example, like this one, there would be a window right here that you can jump through. I kind of just left this area like plain just because they didn't have like a huge window they could put right there. Um, since this room is a locked green room, you need the green key to get in here and there's like a window right here that you can just hop through in the actual map. Um, I needed to make that like kind of blocked off so people couldn't just like, 
you know, hop over and easily get in the, like this room to get the key. So yeah, these are the little cubicles and everything and I added like a little desk chair and that's kind of like a floating shelf right now. I'll probably need to fix that another time. Um, but yeah, that is, this is the office room that everybody likes to hide in sometimes when they play in this map. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down below if you guys would like to play this map with me and maybe I will record that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs>